In this video, we will learn about Python numbers, which type it includes in Python. With that, we will also see some live examples. Let's begin. So, Python built in data types basically includes your Boolean types, numeric types. Since we are talking about Python numbers, it includes the numeric types. That is the numeric data types. To store number types like integer, float, hexadecimal, octal, and others. Okay. So, now you would be wondering what is a data type? So, variables in Python basically stores data of different type. It can be int, float, string. Okay. And the operations that can be performed on that data is represented by the data type. Okay. So, at first we will first see some examples, then we will move towards the numeric data types that what all it includes. Before that, we will see a simple example. So, guys, here is our PyCharm. Let us create a new project. File, new project. Uh, let me give it a name Python numbers. And I'll click on create to create it. So I clicked on create to create it. Now let us create a new file. Right click new Python file. Demo. On pressing enter it will convert to demo.py. So herein we are discussing about Python numbers. So herein we will first discuss about let's say two variables. We have created value val1 val2. Okay. So I'll just assign some int value to it. So this is our int type. So I printed it. This is our in data type under numeric data types. I'll right click and run the demo. Now we have our two values which are integer. Now let us print float. Let's say I'll give a float value. I hope you know what is float uh, 5.9. Okay, now I'll print them. Let's say I'll give it a name. So these are our float type. We have created two variables with float type. Now I'll right click and print. Okay, so we have printed it. Now let us move further and create complex types. So herein we have created so herein we have created complex types two variables val5 and val6 now i'll right click and print them using the print command herein we have created six values okay for three different types so this is you can relate with numeric data types so we could have also created our our hexadecimal number and octal number types let's do it So guys, this is our hexadecimal number and this is our demo octal number. I'll right click and print it. Here we have printed it. Okay. So in this way we can display number type. So we have seen a sample example. Now comes the first type that is integer type. It is a positive or negative whole number without a fractional part. Okay. So examples we just saw, it also includes octal and hexadecimal numbers. Okay. With that we can also print the type using the type method. Here and you can see the types are visible for all of them complex int and float. So we have long type also. The long data types are int types with unlimited size. You must have seen some numbers with the suffix like capital L and small l. Here are the examples. Okay. And use uppercase L to avoid any confusion since lowercase L will look like this. So it will be difficult to differentiate. In Python 3, you can in Python 3 you can see only one type int works, that means long isn't supported in python 3.10 i should say let us move further float type we just saw float is a floating point negative or positive number 
the fractional part is the notation that is capital E or small e. Okay, let us see an example. I'll take another example. Val 8 is equal to let's say 10.30. Val 9 is equal to 3.256 e e2. I told you we can use small e or capital E. Okay, now I'll just print them. Here it is, we printed both of them, the float, I should say, I, I have explained the fold, I have explained the float data type above here, but we are using some other examples also. Okay, I'll just run it. Now let's see, here you can see, we have printed it. 10.3, 325.6. Okay. Let's move further. So we also discussed complex data type before. Under complex data type, numbers are a combination of real or imaginary parts. So we saw an example wherein we use the combination of i and j. i is for real and j is for imaginary part. j is for imaginary part. Let's see. Here in our example, we use the complex data type and we have shown the real and imaginary part here. Let us run it. Let us run it again. And we can see here it is our complex type visible here 2j and here it is the complex type. So in this video we saw how we can work with python numbers what all data types many data types are included in python numbers like uh, int float complex uh, hexadecimal octal with that uh, uh, long was supported in python 2.7 but but python 3.10 doesn't support long type. Thank you for watching.